So, I have a new computer on the bench today. As you can see, it is absolutely huge. It's actually uh, far too big for my improvised work surface here. Um, but it is a TRS-80 uh, Model 3. Um, it looks like it's in actually really nice shape. Maybe a little dirty, but the paint even looks pretty good. Um, it currently does not work, quote unquote, does not work. Um, and I'll show you a little bit more about that uh, in just a bit. But yeah, I'm kind of excited about this machine. It's been something that I've wanted for a long time. This one popped up a relatively local seller, uh, good price. Um, yeah, so let me show you uh, what it does and then I'll talk about the plan of attack here. Okay, I've got the TRS-80 Model 3 plugged in. Um, and I'm just going to flip the power on here. Got some disk drive activity. It was clearly, you know, probably the computer is starting up, is, is my guess. Nothing on the display. Um, now, of course, the first thing I tried was to adjust the contrast and brightness, and they are just stuck. Wherever they're at is where they're at. I, one of them moves just a tiny bit, and the other one does not move at all. Um, so, uh, let's see about... Oh my god. Okay, well... That is not what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, this is going to be a much shorter um, uh, fixing uh, video than I had anticipated. So, um, on the Model 3... <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, on the Model 3, if you hit the brake key when, when it's trying to boot uh, into DOS, it will go directly into BASIC. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it has. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, sold as not working. Um, I got it home and did exactly what the seller did, powered it on, expected stuff on the screen, and nothing. Uh, and now it seems to be working. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just test it out a little bit, uh, and yeah. <laughs> so here's another really interesting thing about this particular machine. Um, I, d I decided I was going to go ahead and open it anyway, uh, to, you know, even though it was working to see about these stuck controls, It'd be nice if those were working, even though the, where they're adjusted now seems fine. I was going to go ahead and open it anyway and replace at least refas and things like that if they were in there. But I found this. Um, this computer obviously had went to the Radio Shack Service Center at some point and um, has not been opened since then. And so <laughs> I'm kind of reluctant to break that seal right now. Not that, you know, if, if something actually needs repair in here, I will do that. But, uh... For now, I kind of want to leave it the way it is. I mean, it's in such beautiful condition. It's working. And it still has this seal on there. So, yeah, for now, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. Well, let's at least uh, exercise this thing a little bit. Um, as much as I can, anyway, at this point. Um, I'm going to type in uh, one of the example programs. I think it's the first example program in the Model 3 um, uh, user's guide. So here we go. User's guide. So here we go.
Okay. Yeah, let's try that one more time. And there it is. <laughs> Uh, all right, cool. Well, I, that kind of for now concludes uh, my TRS-80 uh, repair video. Um, yeah, it seems to be working really well. I have ordered uh, some um, DOS diskettes with some games on them. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, the machine <laughs> seems to be in pristine condition. So um, apologies for this not being much of a repair video. Um, it's really funny that I'm disappointed that it works. <laughs> I find this actually happens a lot with retro computing. Uh, you buy something, uh, either the person says unknown condition, which I always assume it's actually broken, or they say that it's broken and you get it and it's actually not. Um, so um, yeah, hopefully you still enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was still interesting and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.